Exothermic and Endothermic Reactions by kscience.com Exothermic is any process or reaction which causes the temperature of the surroundings to increase. By process, I mean something such as dissolving or changing states, whereas reaction is a chemical reaction, reactants making new products. The word thermic comes from the word thermal, and thermal means heat energy. So you can think of the word thermic as just meaning heat energy. Exo means exit, and this means to leave. So these lines represent heat energy going into the surroundings. For example, combustion, also known as burning, is an exothermic reaction. For combustion to take place, a fuel is needed, and in this case it's going to be wood. Before it's set on fire, the starting temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. A match is used to provide the initial energy needed to start the reaction. This is specifically called the activation energy, and this is the minimum amount of energy required to start a reaction. Once the wood starts burning and combustion is taking place, the wood is reacting with oxygen to release carbon dioxide and water, and the arrows represent lots of energy being released into the surroundings. The thermometer measures the final temperature being 43 degrees Celsius. The temperature has increased by 20 degrees C due to the heat energy released by combustion. Therefore, as the temperature of the surroundings has increased, this is an exothermic reaction. So any chemical reaction where the temperature of the surroundings increases, this is an exothermic reaction. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Endothermic is any process or reaction which causes the temperature of the surroundings to decrease. The word thermic comes from the word thermal, and thermal means heat energy. So you can think of the word thermic as just meaning heat energy. Endo comes from the word in, which means to enter. So these lines represent how energy is being taken in from the surroundings. For example, Dissolving ammonium chloride in water is an endothermic process. Notice I said the word process because this is not a chemical reaction. So to begin with, we have some water and some ammonium chloride, and we use a thermometer to measure the starting temperature of the water, which is 23 degrees Celsius. These dots represent the dissolved ammonium chloride in the water. The final temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. So the temperature has decreased by five degrees. Therefore, this is an endothermic reaction. These arrows going into the solution represent energy being taken in from the surroundings. This is what makes it an endothermic reaction. The fact that lots of energy is being taken in from the surroundings, causing the temperature to decrease. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We will now make a simple table comparing exothermic examples and endothermic examples. Combustion is an exothermic reaction because it releases a lot of energy into the surroundings, causing the temperature to increase. Photosynthesis is an endothermic reaction because it takes in light energy from the surroundings. Neutralization is an exothermic reaction, which is where an acid reacts with an alkali to form a salt and water. Thermal decomposition is an endothermic reaction, such as when calcium carbonate is broken down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Heat energy is absorbed from the surroundings, causing the temperature of the surroundings to decrease. Without any heat energy, this reaction will not take place. Displacement reactions are exothermic. Cooking an egg is an example of an endothermic reaction because heat is being taken in from the surroundings. 
Dissolving calcium chloride in water is an exothermic process, and dissolving ammonium chloride in water is an endothermic process. So remember, if a thermometer shows a temperature increase, it is exothermic. And if a thermometer shows a temperature decrease, it is endothermic. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.